We don't have the music, but we do have the coach. Don Cherry and I sat down and we talked about a bunch of subjects, so enjoy. Something everybody's talking about is the, what they're calling the goal of the century. Oh, and, yeah. uh, you know, maybe we're pushing it a little bit too much and that's why we've come to see grapes here. I, I talking to Bob Yor about it, uh, not to drop names, but I was talking to him about it. And he says everybody backs off because they don't want to look. I mean, I back off on them too. You don't want to go at them because if you go at them, he'll go around you. But he takes chances, boy, and uh, he's like Pavel Burry, and uh, he's like uh, uh, Bobby Orr. They, 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 they took chances. He gets the puck, he goes back. The Rangers kind of collapsed. So one winger was over here, but there's four it, people there. Well, nobody wanted to. <laughs> and then he went up. And the, the last guy made a mistake. If he had, And as I've said many times on Coach's Corner, if he had had a stick here, he'd at least tripped him. But he's coming so fast. That, that's the thing. He never, he, he, he comes fast all the time. Like, he doesn't slow. Most guys glide a little bit. He's gone. I think this is the goal he wanted to score, and uh, he just gets in that mood. He can, you can see he gets better or better or something. He gets something. That was some goal, I'll tell you. Now, how does that goal rank in your experience? Well, uh, that's my second uh, favorite goal, I have to say. And uh, maybe favorite guy, too. As Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr, uh, as uh, if people think back when he played, he when he'd uh, want to kill a penalty, he'd go behind the net, you'd chase him, he'd go out in front of the net, and and you look foolish after a while. So this time, and I think I said this in the podcast, I'll say it again, come up the side, and they said, we're not going to run at him. We're going to let him go, and then we'll get a ball again. And everybody went in the corner. He went in the in the far corner, and every I don't know what happened, but everybody kind of fell down. So now the goalie says, "I'll get him as he goes behind the net." And he comes out and he falls down. He comes out and back out of the puck, and the whole team was in the corner. It was the first time I've ever seen a crowd go for ten seconds. They couldn't believe what they saw. Like they didn't explode. You know, they kind of were like almost you know, stunned. They were shocked. And I remember he put his hands down on his. Uh, just stick, you know how he used to do, and put his head down. And I said, you know, geez, a buck goal like that, Bobby, you should have shown. He said, I said, why don't you show any emotion after a goal? I mean, I, I've seen him push guys away. He says, I think I've embarrassed the, the goalie. That's the kind of guy he was. But he never, but I have to admit, that was a pretty good goal. And I don't blame McDavid for jumping around a little bit on that one. All your years in hockey, which is, what is it, 70 years or something? Well, oh, a long time. Uh, the... In the 70 years, the McDavid goal is the second best goal. Now, Burry scored some big Burry ones. Got, Burry got a nice one, the overtime goal. Yeah, it was nice. And I like Burry, too. Uh, and Ov, Ovi's had some OV, good ones. Yeah, they've all, you know, the, and, Lemieux, uh, Gretzky. Well, they've all had, but the second best, that was the best goal I think I've ever seen. Talking to Tim Cherry, Don's son, who is an OHL scout and also grew up at the Boston Garden. He has some pretty interesting memories. I scouted for the OHL for 17 years, and so we I remember the first time Dad and I saw him, we were at the Etobicoke Ice Sports, and we were sitting, we stood, stood in the corner by the Zamboni, and the, we were watching the Toronto Marlies play, I forget who they were playing, and they had some injuries, so they brought Connor up and a guy named Roland McEwen up, and they were, uh, Roland was 14, but Connor was 13 playing against 15 year olds, and the Marlies won 3-2, and he had a goal and two assists. So I remember Dad and I were walking out and say, boy, that kid, what was his name? Connor Mix something. Boy, we better keep an eye on him. He was a pretty good player. He's he's as elite in the in the NHL as he was a minor midget. So it wasn't to me like his growth has stopped. It's kept going. 